Well, I'm on a fight to Mars. Uh, Friday, which I think was 2nd of October, I was driving off the highway, and I-390 was heading for the 590 split, when I saw something rather extraordinary across the road, across the median, big grass median, and no one has reported on this. So you may consider this to be a news report for the general Rochester area. Since the media doesn't hasn't reported on it, I will. So I saw maybe ten cars off the road on the median. Thought I saw emergency vehicles too, but I'm not sure what was going on with that. But then there's one in the median, one vehicle in the median on my side. I was heading northbound, so it was off to my left. And I saw what looked like a white male, maybe he was in his 50s, and he was hauling butt. He was running hard for that vehicle. He wasn't walking. He was running full speed towards that vehicle. Now, a few minutes later, I get a low pressure light on my uh, car, and it turns out that uh, I had a flat tire. But when I took it into the shop, is what they told me. They told me it was sidewall puncture. Well, that didn't happen in my driveway. It was some vandal sticking something in it. That's happened while I was on the road. That means only one thing. You don't need a sidewall puncture driving down the road. Unless it's a bullet. So, that whole incident happened maybe a little bit, a few minutes after one. On Friday. I haven't seen any news reports about it. That's really scary. No one's reported on it, so I think there's some criminal activity there, and none of them wanted to report anything to the cops, or they'd get thrown in jail themselves. That's what I'm guessing, I'm thinking it was a stray bullet that hit my tire. That's scary. Why they would be conducting any, I hate to say this, business on the highway is beyond me. Don't have any further information. If you do, saw anything, you know, put it down in the comment section. I don't have any identification on any of the vehicles or anything like that. So, nothing I can really do about it. I got the tire changed, paid my bill, and went on my way. Now I have a special treat for you. It's really off topic. It's something I just noticed. I'm in one of the dugouts here at my uh, favorite park. And I'm going to show you something. If you can give me a sec. This is. It's a bird's nest. I want you to consider one thing. Birds have only their beak to use. They don't have hands like we do. So when they build this, they build these intricate, these uh, rather intricate structures strictly with their beaks. Is that something or what? I wouldn't know. It might be a robin's nest. I would have no idea. When they use mud, they use uh, straw that they pick up. Amazing critters. Amazing that any critter could do this. And 
uh, create something strictly with a beat. Now, we would use our hands. And probably screw it up in the process, most of us. Just something to bring that up. Kind of interesting. So, if anybody has any information on that, what I saw, let me know. I, I can only give you vague impressions of what I saw. So I was paying attention to the highway. I don't have, you know, any photos or anything like that. So, I have no idea. But since our news media doesn't seem to want to uh, present it as news, and I probably got a bullet in my tire, I'd say there's something newsworthy there, and apparently they don't especially care to let anybody know about it. Well, that'll be it for now. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you, and have a nice day, and respect our uh, bird brain friends here. They're pretty smart in being able to create something like this.